Hi, I'm Mike Ryan. I'm a volunteer docent here at the Wheelwright Museum and the author of Turquoise in America. The history of Native American jewelry may be seen as a development from implement to curio to craft to fine art. I'm standing in front of a case of the jewelry of Fred Pashlakai. And across from me is a case of Slender Maker of Silver. Slender Maker of Silver is generally considered to be the first Native American jeweler to develop an individual style that was recognized. And his son, Fred Peshlakai, continued that development. During the early period of Native American jewelry, which was about from 1890 to the mid-1920s, most of the jewelry was very heavy. And this is especially among the Navajo, where the jewelry was considered a storehouse of value. So heavier was better. Also, while there was turquoise included, it was very difficult for the native jewelers to obtain the turquoise, and certainly in very high grades. But Fred Peshlakai introduced a lighter style of jewelry, including more stylized design elements. He's also known for using high-grade turquoise in his jewelry. Fred, from 1937 on, and he worked all the way through the 60s, had a studio in Los Angeles. And down the street, there were the offices of the American Gem Company, which was owned by Doc Wilson. Doc also owned the Lone Mountain Turquoise Mine, and we see many fine pieces of Lone Mountain Turquoise in the jewelry of Fred Peshlakai. We can see here in the case an example of that, where you see his use of wire rather than solid silver, and the design elements that he incorporated into this jewelry, and especially the beautiful Lone Mountain Turquoise. In the June 1972 edition of Arizona Highways, that we see here, Preston Menangi, Native American jeweler, wrote The New Indian Jewelry Art of the Southwest, an article, and in that he made the following comment. When you are buying this jewelry, remember that the method is old, but the jewelry is new. I feel it is art, true art, as Indianism extends deeper into the art world, the new Indian jewelry of the Southwest will be accepted as a distinguished art form. And from that moment on with this manifesto, we see succeeding generations of Native American jewelers working at that standard of fine art. Preston was one of many of his generation of young artists at that time who were exploring new ways to express their Native American traditions. Preston often worked in a very old form where he would carve the designs in tufta stone and then cast his jewelry. But he started adding very creative elements especially in the use of inlay with fine turquoise and other gems, especially including coral, which tied into a long history of Native Americans using shell and coral. Charles Lolama is considered one of the finest, if not the finest, Native American jeweler. Lolama's name in Hopi means beauty. And as we're going to see, there's some really beautiful jewelry that Charles created during his career. He really elevated design and craft 
to really the highest levels of the fine art that Preston was describing in his article. There's good reason why the Charles Lolima case is the centerpiece of the entire gallery. We see here a simplicity of design is very modern and yet at the same time easily recognized for its inspiration from native tradition and culture. When Charles first came into the marketplace, he presented his jewelry at the Gallup ceremonial and he was rejected because they said, hey, this is not Indian jewelry. To which Charles replied, well, I'm an aided and I made the jewelry. This inspiration that we see in Charles' work has continued through future generations of Native American jewelers. We encourage you on your next visit to Santa Fe to come visit us here at the Wheelwright and you can make an entire tour of the gallery and see the whole history of Native American jewelry. You can also visit the other exhibits here which are extraordinary. And please do visit the Case Trading Post where you'll find a wide range of Native American arts and crafts with much of the jewelry containing beautiful natural turquoise. We look forward to your visit.